What's going on guys and welcome back coach Stoneface here. I have teased this in the uh, already in my series 2 opening but we are going to do an extended series battle. So I was actually able to get the extended series from 2021 uh, blasters for $14 each. So I have 5 blasters which is about $70 versus 1 box of hobby for extended series uh, and I think it was about $75 I got on sale. And previously, I opened up a retail box of Extended Series. I don't believe I released the video, but if I did, I'll be able to go back and I'll just kind of throw it in with this again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the hits. So for about $70, I know the retail box was a little bit less. I think I paid like $60 or $65 for it. Um, it was part of a bundle. But I'm going to compare. What's bang for your buck? You're going to spend $70 on Extended Series. Now, keep in mind... I know the the young gun crop is not good. I'm well aware of that. I mean, you have Michael Bunting with the Arizona with the Leafs. You have Drew O'Connor's not too too bad. Uh, Alexi Hepaniemi, Arthur Kaliev isn't too too bad. Um, you know, there, Logan Stanley, Joel Hofer. There's some. There there's some names, but what you're looking for are you know the retro retro young guns from. Uh, series 1 and Series 2, you're looking for the Laffy, you're looking for the Kaprizovs, the Jason Robertsons, which you're guaranteed to get something more like that in ex in the Extended Series hobby. Uh, in the retail, which I've already opened, so I'm not going to spoil anything, you, you know, your odds go down, and obviously by the time you hit uh, the Blaster Box, you have virtually no odds to, to pull those. Now these have seven, 7 packs per box, and Young Guns are 1 and 4, so you're only guaranteed 1 Young Gun per box. We are opening five, but if you look at the odds, we're opening uh, five times seven. You're opening 35 packs, so you're really looking for about nine young guns be between these these five boxes. Who knows what you're gonna get? Uh, but we are looking. I'm gonna see if it actually shows on here. The 0506 young guns are one in 24. So again, we should get one, but it's not guaranteed. You're definitely playing with fate. So we're gonna, without further ado, we're gonna hide this hobby box. Actually, we just leave it in the background. We'll hide the hobby box in the background. Now, I do have four of these boxes opened up already, purely for time's sake. And so this will be a four-part series. We're going to do this one, which is the... I'm going to try to go as quick as possible, but it's going to be slow. Um, of the blaster boxes. And then we are going to do... Um, if I haven't released it, I'll release the the retail box just know that at that point it doesn't know that we're doing this series and then finally i'll do the hobby box and then i'll do one episode where i'm looking at all the hits from those boxes comparing values and you know just kind of doing a cost comparison bang for your buck what is best so we're gonna go you know blaster versus retail versus hobby all right without further ado let's see what we can get here uh, I'm really not going to go through the base at all. I might show you very quickly here just the design because I have been opening up a lot of 21, 22. So the design's a little bit different. But there we go. 21, 22 just does look so much nicer. But we're going to hop right through this. And we have our first retro, a retro of Patrick Kane. And I believe we're going to get a ton of base packs in this. Not just base cards, but base packs. So we're going to go here. So our first one's a retro, but not a... Not a Young Guns, Retro Young Guns. I don't know the odds on those. Just the base retros, I mean. I think we have a Young Guns here. And it is of Miko Lettinen. Miko Lettinen, no longer with the Leafs. But Miko Lettinen, I think... I want to say he's on... we um, have got a lot of All-Star cards here, too. Uh, <clears throat> San Jose now. But he went somewhere and he did, he's not too bad. Or was he part of the Columbus trade? No, he went to Columbus. So we did get our one Young Guns there. You know what, I'm just going to keep Young Guns separate. And here we have base packs by the looks of it. So, obviously the other thing you're losing is your hobby exclusive. So you're not going to be able to get, going to be able to get a, you know, UD exclusive, a um, high gloss. You're not going to be able to get those clear cuts. So you're really missing out. You're hoping for the best here. But we looks like we have a hollow effects of Philip Khrushchev. Followed by a Green Dazzlers of Alex Petriangelo. There we go. So our first box so far. That was a double hit pack. So makes up for that base pack. But our first blaster box. 
We got down past halfway now. Still just the one Young Guns, but here is the second one. Freddie Hanmark for the San Jose Sharks. So this was one of the ones where we're beating the odds, and we do get um, two Young Guns. The other thing I was going to say is... Um, <clears throat> Uh, I lost my train of thought. That's okay. Let me keep going here. Oh, the other thing you can't get is in rookie class of Mikey DiPietro. Um, suit variations I don't think you can get in just a blaster box or even retail. I think that's a hobby exclusive. And I have been having pretty good luck at pulling some good suit variations, so... All right, we got an ultimate victory of John Carlson there for the Washington Capitals. So that's Blaster 1. We did get two Young Guns, but the whole point of this series is not to worry about each individual Blaster. We are going to go a collective hole here. What are we able to get? And we're hoping, you know, we're going to get at least nine Young Guns, but you never know. Looks like we got another hollow. Oh, we got an ultimate victory, Matty Barzell. And this one's two of 350. I don't think the John Carlson was numbered. It was not. So this one is a short print there. Two of 350. So that's not too bad. That's a nice little bump up there. Hopefully he has a better year now that Trotz is out of, out of New York. All right. And it looks damaged, but it is not. We do have a Hayden Verbeek Young Guns from Montreal. Hayden Verbeek. Yeah, just a lot of all-star game. Like all-star, 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 all-star there for Mr. Kachuk. So we're three Young Guns in through two blasts, or a blaster and a half. So again, with, with the extended series and retail, you know you're just getting six. Now you can get some special ones, but you can in here too. But we know it's six. We got another retro of Jenny Malkin. Not too bad for the for the retros. Kane and Malkin. Some good names there. We'll see if Kane moves this offseason or not. Or by the time this comes out, he may have already been moved. Um, but just base young guns, you're able to get more than the, the six you are. And we're expecting more than the six you are through um, extended series. Or the hobby box. Sorokin, there we go. Retro young guns. Elias Sorokin. Very good one there. William Carlson Dazzlers. So that was a good pack. Very good pack. Um, so yeah, you do get a chance. And, you know, obviously that's one of the retro young guns. We have four chances, five chances of that. In a hobby box, you only get one. But you're not guaranteed. That's the that's the big thing. You're not guaranteed anything. And you're kind of risking a lot buying these, right? You could get I got Alexei Hapinami. Hapinami, there we go. Another good one there. Um, you're risking a lot with... With retail, you're not you're not guaranteed things. Now, luckily, it seems like we've been pretty lucky here with these blasters so far. Two blasters in. We've had two young guns per blaster. We got a rookie or um, retro young gun. We got a numbered card, so we're having some pretty good luck. And we have an ovation PS suitor, so rookie there ovation. Um, now, the reason I did this comparison on upper deck extended is because again, I spent less than 200 bucks and i'm able to get you know a good amount of all three normally things aren't this cheap what do we have here we have a sydney crosby ultimate rookie sydney crosby so i think this is the first pack of the next stack there yeah so our ultimate rookie has been pretty good um but yeah so just because it was dirt cheap like you don't see blaster boxes going on sale for 14 dollars, so i was able to pick up the five to be comparison with it we have a rookie class here of Stuart Skinner. Now, I had thought about doing a sixth box for this, so it would be a little bit higher value than than Hobby, because realistic, if you want to have a fair chance, you should spend a little, probably a little bit more on retail. Um, but it was just so close, 70 versus 75, that it uh, it was fine by me to, to think it's going to be a pretty good comparison. Looks like it is just a base pack, unless I'm missing something. Which I'm not. So there is a base pack. So we're about halfway through the break here. We need young guns out of this one still. But we're four young guns in plus a retro young guns. I 
haven't been looking at the quality. Oh, there's another retro young gun, Arthur Kellyab. Retro young guns. So again, there we have two of those now, as where we'd only be getting if we get, or no, I think we are guaranteed one in the hobby box. Don't remember if you're guaranteed one in the retail box or not. All right. And we have another retro, Jordan Greenway, followed by a Dazzlers of Patrick Line. There we go. So we are doing pretty well. I mean, this is going to be a long video. I do apologize, and I hope you make it through it. But we're going to hammer everything out here. We have a Connor McDavid. I can't remember what this one's called. MXXI, but I don't know what it means. So there we go. Another McDavid. Not a bad name. If you're going to get an insert of anything, McDavid is a good insert to get. So we're officially past the halfway mark here. Going to keep hammering it out, though. Because I've been opening up... Oh, that's not even the right team. Never mind. I was going to say, it almost like Florida and been looking for Spencer Knight and the new stuff, obviously. But we have a gold... I was going to say Dowsers, but we have hollow FX of PS Suter. I think those are... That one might be a variation. So, hollow FX. Where's the other hollow FX? Um, did we have one already? I thought we had one. Philip Kurishev. So maybe it's just the coloring, but they're both on... Uh, no, I think this one's gold. They're both on... You can kind of see it in the camera, not really. Um, but both players are on Blackhawk, so you should be able to see the coloring on them. And our final pack of the blaster. We do have a Young Guns. And it is of Sasha Chmelski. Good little player there for San Jose. Jack Eichel All-Star. Alright, so just a little three boxes I just want to see. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have five regular young guns and two retro young guns. So doing pretty well. We're going to have more no matter what than the hobby box because you are going to get one young guns at least out of these last two boxes which puts you to seven plus the two retros this one has a young gun in it already and it is of cam johnson there goalie for the blue jackets the other thing you don't get is french variations so you don't get the french variation young guns so you are missing some of the the opportunities to increase the value on your young guns whether it be clear cut french high gloss exclusives all those short prints clear cuts but all right we have a rookie class non auto on it I don't know if those are different or not but um, Igor Zamula because our Di Pietro had the Fashmiel autograph all right we'll keep going here still looking for the big big name of Michael Bunting I say big big name but and also any of these other rookie inserts where we're looking for Lafreniere, Kaprizov. Um, I mean, Sorokin was a good one to get. We're also looking for, uh, well, Jake Ottinger is not a bad one after his playoff. But uh, Jake or his teammate, Robert, Jason Robertson. There we go. Let's see what else we can get here. See if we can get one more young gun out of this box, which would be nice. And we do. This one has a young guns in it. But again, if we're looking for those retro ones with the big names to really make this pop. Uh, Joseph Corner. Goalie for the Sharks there. So we have a couple more here. See what else we can get in this hit in this box. I would highly doubt we're gonna get a third young gun as our one in seven and or sorry one in eight. We've already have two, but we could get a retro. We could get something exciting um, else with it. Oh, there we go, another retro. Carry Price, Carry Price retro. So those retros have been pretty good. We have Melkin, uh, Patty Kane, Carry Price. Some good name value with it. Even if that's all it is, is just name value. All right, down to our final nine packs. Let's see what can come up. It's been a pretty big opening. 
we have a reflections there first one of that i haven't seen this one before actually i don't think i've pulled this at all and i've opened up quite a bit of extended over the time but we have a reflections of ryan o'reilly curious on on that it's not numbered or anything but i just don't remember ever pulling one of those so here we go another cool insert and our last pack of the fourth blaster before we get to our fifth blaster here and we are going to pull up a hollow fx boom byram playing playing fantastic in the stanley cup final there so there we go and our fifth and final blaster box so in the part one of a four part three and a half part series i guess we have the three parts of opening plus one part of recap and my advice well or at least my experience on this i'm gonna start off with a olio levy ultimate rookie victory and now see i'm looking for reed cider and he's not uh wrong year for that but i do like the variations that come in um, in the extended i know really don't have a ton of value but um, still something I, I personally enjoy. Austin Matthews, Hollow FX. There we go. That's a cool looking one. Austin Matthews. Let's see what else we can pop up here in our last five packs. I believe we're may winning on one Young Guns. At least. Hopefully two. Love to get one more retro. Maybe one of the big names. We do get a Young Gun here of Jacob Ingham. Jacob Ingham, another goalie that's very goalie heavy. I think they're making extended, you know, just any goalie that's played even as a backup. Get an NHL paycheck, then they're allowed to be licensed, and licensed they are. This is, you know, 150 young guns for a year is a lot, and I know it's going to be the same thing this year. Uh, do we have one of our base packs here? It looks like Andres Janssen there. Former Leaf. You know, I'm a homer for the Leafs. All right, three packs. See if we can get one more Young Guns, maybe a retro Young Guns. See what we can all get here. We are going to go back-to-back -back base packs. James Reimer. Back-to-back -back base packs. First time we've had ba two base packs per, per blaster. So this was a much weaker blaster so far. Never know what will change. And we are going to get a Reese Janssen. Young Guns, and so there it is. There's our both Young Guns. We're not going to get any more, but let's see what we get in our final pack here. Let's hope for a retro or a big name of something. Just no base. And we do have a retro of Elias Pettersson. Elias, Elias, whatever you want to say, Pettersson. So there we go. There's part one. I don't want to do a recap right now. Um... Just because the whole point of this series, do a recap at the end, we'll kind of spend some time going through what everything got. But that is five blaster boxes of Upper Deck 2021 Extended Series. Thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment. Um, I will post something about the retail box, and then we'll hit up the hobby, and hopefully it does just as well for us. Thanks very much for stopping by, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.